Hello my wonders, welcome back to my channel. I am pumped and excited because I am finally bringing you my show makeup that I do on ships. This one is for Epic Rock. Rock on, let's do this. So it's really important for me to always prime my eyes. My eye makeup runs, it. my whole makeup is gone. It's just not cute for the show. So I always use Urban Decay Makeup Primer. Um, but for this whole look, you can really use anything you want. I'll leave a whole list of stuff that I use down below. But you can use what you have. If you've got drugstore, if you've got high-end, whatever. I put a little bit of tape on as a guide. I love using this Kristen Marie Urban Decay palette. It's really my go-to for every single show that I'm doing in this current series. It just has so many vivid colors and so many bright pigments and it's just perfect for me. So right now I'm taking the burnt orange color and putting that all over my lid. And like I said, to the outermost edge because that tape acts as a guide. Now I'm going in with this really freaking awesome red color. I've been searching for this color for years. It's by Kat Von D and I just love it. So my rock god, goddess is a phoenix, um, at least in this production of it. So I really like playing with the reds and the golds and everything that's kind of like in a sunset and in fire. So I'm going in with a wet brush, <laughs> a wet brush and I'm putting on some bronze color and then some gold on, on the inner corners. I just really liked playing with these colors and blending them all together and touching up as I go, but I'm always blending and blending and, and keeping the, the colors really warm and crisp. Then I go in with my trusty Wet n Wild H2O liner. I use this for every single look. I kid you not, go out, it's literally like $2 I, and it lasts forever. I don't know how hygienic that is, but it lasts, it's amazing. And then make the biggest cat eye you can and you know, take so long to let that dry. It, I don't know why. Does it, does it take anybody else's eyes a really long time to dry when you use liquid liner? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I just put on any, you know, liner I have to do the waterline and to put on some mascara, but you are going to be putting on some false lashes if anybody recreates this later for maybe like a rock, rock and roll look. And now it's my favorite time. Take off those tape pieces. Oh wait, can we just... Wait, hold on, let's go back. Let's, let's. Look how freaking satisfying that is. That crisp, crisp line. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, and just now wipe off the excess with any type of makeup remover you have on. And then I always like to spray, start spraying my face with setting spray. That one was a MAC one. You can really use any one, whatever one you like the most. Now I start putting on uh, my base for my face. Uh, I always like to do the, the main eye makeup first, just before any fallout. Cover up your spots with any concealer I have. Cover up your spots? My spots. They're my spots. Because that's my face. And that's just how my face is. Next, I like to use Shape Tape for my under, under eye concealer. I just think this, this is really great. It makes my eyes really bright on stage. And then, of course, I like to give them a little bit of a bake. Put that bacon on there. And then I really attempted to bake the rest of my face, but then I realized I don't really know how to do that. So, mm. uh, now I go in on my brows. My brows are for shows. I'm always really loving this Maybelline brow tattoo, I believe it's called. It just does not move. It doesn't move. I like to go darker on my eyes for shows because it pops more on stage. Um, and my supervisor told one of my friends last year that her, her brows were too light on stage, so she liked them dark, so we kept our brows nice and dark on stage. And I just think this is great. I go in a little bit later with a, once this is dried, I go in a little bit later and put a brown eyeshadow on top of it just to really darken it up and set it in place. Now I just put a little bit more red and black underneath my eye. Um, and what's great about keeping your bake on at this point is that if there's any fallout for under eye shadow, it all gets wiped away when you take away the bake. Look at it. Look at the bacon. Oh, take it out. Take it out. Okay, now is a really cool spot. <laughs> I have to say it myself. Um, I go in on the inner corners and I extend my eye line. I bring it to a point. Uh, so basically I just bring the line down towards the bridge of my nose a little bit and then I expand it out towards my eye 
my, the middle of my eye, if that makes any sense. It just makes the eye look a little bit bigger. And like I said, my rock goddess that is in my brain for this show uh, was to be a phoenix. So I liked my eyes to kind of have that like, that look, that kind of bird-like look. So now I'm just going in with some more face makeup, bronzing up the face, doing a bit of contour, blending it out because we all know that this color does not really match my skin. <laughs> And then um, I also like to outline the outside of my eye shape as well. This is just part of kind of the prompt that we have for the makeup for the show, but I like to put my own little spin on it. Um, and it just makes it a little different. All the girls kind of do something a little like this too with the different colors they have. Uh, for the show in particular, actually all, everybody has a different color for their look. There's red, blue, purple, and green. So mine was red and I just really loved it, really did. So I'm, I'm hoping I'm red again when we start blocking it out, like next week, but if I'm blue, which would be the other track, that's okay too. I'll get to play with more, with more colors and more styles of my look. But right now, and in this contract, I was loving that red girl. So back to the makeup, what was I doing? Well, I was freaking out because this day in particular, we just had a lot less time. So <laughs> I was just kind of like, I need to get this filmed. So I was kind of freaking out. And then my friend Danny was making fun of me for showing the product, but I was saying I have to show product. Oh, so for this show, our prompt had us have pretty neutral lips with a brown lip liner. So I didn't have a brown lip liner, so the whole contract I use either eyeliner or just a brown pencil or a brown shadow. So I did that, put on my lashes because I honestly don't feel like a show look is complete without a big set of lashes. That's just me being extra, but that's my truth and that's what I'm gonna live by. And that's Shane. Hey Shane. I always give my face another spray with some kind of setting powder before being done. And uh, that's, that's the rest of the makeup. Now I'm going on to the hair. I always like to go in with some dry shampoo before this look in particular because the dirtier the hair, the better. We have to have a big old quiff or a big poof in the front of our hair for this show. Um, the bigger the hair, the better for this, for this epic, epic rock show. So this is how we do it. We take a section, give it a big, big spray of some hairspray. Not very eco-friendly, I am sorry. I wish there was a way that it could be, but I haven't found it yet. If you guys have any tips on that, please give them down below. Hairspray, you give it a spray and then give it a back comb and then take another little section, give it a spray on the front and the back give it a back comb and work your way from the back to the front of the quick quiff. Then I put in my little color that I had. I had a real dodgy hair piece, not gonna lie. It was not as good as everybody else's, but I had to make do. So that's the one I used. And tonight in particular, I did a pretty good quiff. Like guys, just, just watch this method that's gonna happen in just a second. It comes together and you can kind of see the astonishment on my face. <laughs> I do it and I'm like, that's not half bad. <laughs> Um, but with the rest of the hair, it, the, the quiff actually goes down a little bit. My next, on this next contract, I'm going to make it a point to make it as big as possible. Uh, so for this hair, I like to go in next. Look, look at the excitement. I'm like, yeah, it's killing it. I really like to put two braids on either side of this hair look. It just looks really cool and it blends in with the rest of the look that you'll see in a couple of seconds. So I basically do two really small French braids on either side of my head. It actually gives it that kind of shaved, side shave effect. And from far away, you can still see it and it looks really cool. I just love that look. And yes, I am drinking Rockstar because sometimes you just need sugar. And unfortunately, Rockstars are where it's at on ships, at least on mine. So just back to the two braids, braid, braid, braid for your life. And then I just wrap them up with a little uh, clear elastic on the end. All in all, I would say this hairstyle and this whole look normally takes me about an hour and 15, sometimes an hour and a half, depending on uh, the rush I'm in or depending on how I'm going so far in the night. So. If you're curious about how long it normally takes, that, that's kind of how long it normally does take. Uh, so next, for this look, we have to create three ponytails. And since my hair is rather short, I add uh, three hair pieces. Now I honestly have a really cheap uh, hair extension that it was just this big long sheet of hair and I cut it up into three pieces and then I made each of those pieces into a ponytail. 
and um, they're synthetic hair, they're from Sally's Beauty, and I just tease the crap out of them, honestly. So basically, you're just taking three sections of hair and tying them into the ponytail, and then you're just trying to make them as tight as possible. Next, we're taking these rather awful hair scrunchies, but they look great in the show, but like alone, they're really gross. They're these scrunchies that I used to find it limited to, or Claire's to be honest with you, and they've got braids in them and more hair and more synthetic hair. So you wrap them around and then you tease, tease, tease. And what's good is that I'm mainly teasing the hair pieces and not my hair, so I'm not damaging my hair as much as I would be if I was just using my own hair. And it makes it big and it stays more during the show and it's just, I don't know, I just loved how big my hair was on, set, on stage. Next, I'm taking some bobby pins. I love the twirly ones because they wrap into your hair and keep it there all night. And then you just spray and drink your Rockstar. And you just hope that you got it. And then you just pray that all of it stays in place, especially when you're doing headbangs later. Add a little bit more of hair flare. And she's almost ready. But guys, don't leave just yet because if you stay tuned, there's some more sick stuff at the very end of this. Oh, look at her. She's so big. I mean, do you want to hear me sing a little bit? Do you want to see some costumes? I don't know. What are you feeling? Because I want to. But before we rock on, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and tell me honestly, do you like to rock? Because I know I do. Ah!